Hey Pokemon trainers, welcome to another edition of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So we just came off a couple of games with all the uh, Relentless Flame. We got one loss, one win. Excuse me, take a drink of water there. And we got to see uh, the deck perform uh, in uh, some different ways. But let's jump into a Leaf Charge. Love Leaf Charge. One of my favorite decks. Uh, I just want to play it. I just want to play it. So I'm going to play it. Uh, and I am going to keep going on the uh, on the brand new decks, the the team up decks, uh, Relentless Flame and uh, Torrential Cannon. Those aren't going anywhere, uh, mostly because they're relevant. Um, but Leaf Charge to me is also relevant. Um, so let's see what we can do against this uh, Bright Tide here from Sun and Moon. Uh, let's go for Tails. We're going to go for second if we win. We're toward didn't. Let's see if our opponent lets us go second. He will not. Uh, doesn't much matter. We got a couple Tricos uh, and a Sceptile and a whole bunch of energy. Um, so we really need to get some Manectrics. We really need to get some uh, Snowvers and, uh, and Obama Snows uh, and things like that. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna work towards it. We're gonna work towards it. We're, right now we have a pretty poor hand because I do not have anything to draw with. There's our Electrike, cute guy. Um, let's put this here just to get it ready. Uh, and then we'll just pass it over to our opponent and see what they have in store. I don't think I've ever played against this deck. Uh, we got a Shelter. We have a Spiro, and we have a Corsola. Corsola with Call for Family. So that's really good. That's a that's been a, a really uh, effective move that I've been using on that Nidoran female. Um, it's not as good as Strike and Run on Dunsparce, um, which right now I could use a Dunsparce. But there's a there's a Chinchou and there's a Poplio. Uh, looks like we're going to be drawing into some deadness here coming up. Uh, but we're going to lay a smack down on this old Corsola uh, because it is weak to our leaf energy. Uh, and I think we're going to have be have a bit of a uh, an advantage here with our, our type advantage. Um, electricity is not effective against uh, against grass and grass is super effective against uh, against the old waters. Oh my goodness. So I think we're going to just continue drawing into all of the energy. So let's go ahead and tail flap this thing uh, and start pushing it down. So we do have our leaf energy up here, our leaf guy up here. Uh, we're going to lose our Trico, but we can put in Electrike, uh, and that's fine. Um, and we'll just remove from there. Hopefully we can get our, we can get our uh, Electrike going here soon. Um, but I don't mind losing this Trico this early. We have plenty of Tricos in the deck. Oh wait, let's do this. We have plenty of Tricos in the deck, and uh, and I needed to discard some energy for my uh, for my Obama Snow. Um, so there's a Chin Chow. That's fine. Let's start putting some energies onto that, and we'll throw down a big old Zap Kick. Um, and we got another weakness <coughs> with the old Spiro. So not too bad. We are we do have a lot of a. Uh, <coughs> A lot of type coverage here. Excuse me on the old uh, on the old voice here. Really, really long day at work today. Uh, but we got Pokemon going, so it can't be all that bad. Oh, and happy uh, Happy Valentine's Day to everybody um, who was out there watching uh, watching a little bit of Pokemon on on Valentine's Day. Uh, we had a really good time uh, today at school uh, with my students, uh, with our Valentines and everything like that. So it was a, it was a fun time. I do like. Um, Valentine's Day. So it looks like my opponent is putting in his Golduck. Um, that's a pretty strong Golduck. So let's put this here. I can't really rescue Stretcher for anything. I could rescue Stretcher that Trico, but I'm not going to bother right now. Um, Trico's going to go down kind of immediately. Well, not necessarily. I think I'm going to leave Electrike in the active position. He can take another scratch, um, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but I just haven't uh, I haven't been drawing into anything really, uh, really useful right now. I really need to draw into a, a draw supporter or something like that. And I think both of us are sort of in that in that spot with really small hands. Uh, but my opponent is uh, well ahead of me right now uh, with his board position. 
Um, so we're going to have an uphill battle uh, ahead of us. But if we can draw into some good um, jaw supporters, if I can get that freaking Manectric out, it would be actually very nice. There's Orin Guru. So we're going to be able to start doing a few um, instructs. And I think I want to get rid of this rescue stretcher just so I can get an extra draw here. So let's do that. Okay, not too bad. Um, we're slowly getting there. Um, this Electric is about to die. I could put Trico in. Um, I think we still have plenty of Trico, so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, let's retreat this out and let's put in Trico. Mm -hmm. And at least Trico is going to be able to do a bit more damage to this thing uh, with its type weakness and stuff like that. So I think we'll be in an okay spot right now. I, I imagine we might. Okay, we're not going to lose our Trico right now. Um, Chin Chow might be good to put in. Uh, but this, 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 this hasn't been good. Let's instruct. Switch. Chin Chow. That's going to be another 20. So we'll be able to take out Spiro with this. Uh, and then we can put some more damage on to... I guess Golduck. Oh, we can't even do Spark. Jesus. Uh, oh, it is going to die anyways with Pound, so that's fine. Uh, we're just not going to get extra damage onto the uh, onto the bench, which is fine. Uh, Kakui is going to be beautiful for us. Um, Spiro is out. Um, we had a pretty clutch switch right there, um, so not too bad. Uh, but I think this is going to go down. Uh, well, maybe not because my opponent does not seem to have any energy in his hand. So we're just going to be taking a few scratches. Um, we could copycat here, and that might be worth it. Because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do any... Um... Oh, no, I don't want to copycat. What am I thinking? My opponent has one card. So there's our Grovile. I... It's a little bit dangerous putting it on here. Uh, but my opponent's just going to dip. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> Honestly, to be honest, I think he could have won that. <laughs> I think he uh, he dipped a bit too early. I think he, he really had us on the ropes there. Um, but we'll take the win. We'll take the victory. I don't I don't think we deserve that one. But uh, uh, we were drawing some pretty poor hands. Uh, it looks like we're going to grab another prize here, which was uh, coins, I think. Uh, yeah, 75 coins. Um, let's, let's jump into another leaf charge. I just love this deck so much. Uh, let's jump into another leaf charge and see uh, see if we can grab another win here. Okay, we're up against the uh, old uh, <laughs> Relentless Flame deck. We know this deck very well. We should be able to do okay. And let's we'll hope that we, we draw into some really good stuff here. Um, we're definitely going to go second, just in case we draw our Manectric. Come on, Manectric. There he is. All right. We're going to have a beautiful start on this one. Um, Chin Chow, Nest Ball, Timer Ball, Copycat, two energies. We are inside the money here, people. We are inside the money. This is going to be a really great start for us. Really happy with this start. Okay, my opponent is uh, choosing here. And I think we'll probably nest ball for a Snover. I think that might be prudent. Or maybe I don't want to do that because we do have type weakness against fire with Snover and Sceptile. So maybe I'll Nest Ball for an Orange Guru. I think that might be a good thing to do. Uh, and then we can Timer Ball for a Lantern. We can Timer Ball for, you know, whatever. Whatever we can Timer Ball for. I don't know. We, we also have a Copycat, so that, that shouldn't be too bad. And we can hope that our opponent keeps a nice big fat hand so we can just... Um, copycat next turn 
So not too bad. I think we'll copycat into that hand because we got we got a lot of stuff coming up here. Let's go ahead and nest ball for our Dunsbar Snow. Warren Guru is fine. Let's timer ball for nothing. That's fine, I suppose. We can no, we can't. We need to copycat. Let me copycat. I'm going to try and grab a electric energy. There it is. And we got a lily as well. So not too bad. And then I can accelerate this energy onto Orin Guru and have him ready. Um, rescue stretcher, nothing yet. Um, so let's go ahead and double charge this big boy. And I think this is going to kill Farfetch. So this is going to put us in a really, really nice position. Um, opening up here uh, to I think grab a win off of this there's our Trico so this shouldn't be too bad I think we're in a really um, excellent spot right now and I, I feel like I keep saying that I feel like I keep saying that so I do apologize if it's annoying um, if I keep saying that uh, and it looks like our opponent just uh, just grabbed a few things here and there um, so this might turn into a bit of a game come on let's get rid of this fire no of course not all right so there's another energy that we can put on i think i want a lily that's going to give us what a three draw two draw two draw it could be a three draw let's make it a three draw four draw um looking pretty good right now um we're gonna put i think we're gonna put dunsparce on no i don't need to well i could use him for sudden flash and i don't need well i do need a obama snow but i think i'm gonna keep him off for a minute just in case and i have nothing to double charge for but we can't get a nice bit of damage on this rapid ash just in case and then we'll have orange guru rating uh we have taint lines and we have guzma um, that we can use next turn um, So we shouldn't be in too bad of a spot here. I just really want to get rid of this burn which we are never going to do um, <clears throat> We're gonna need a bit of aloe beer I guess to get rid of this thing. It seems to be quite severe uh, And our manectric is really taking a lot of damage off of it, but we do have another electric on board um, So it shouldn't be too hard for us to do things and I think I'm gonna guzma up this uh, This charmeleon can we kill this? 90 60 60 I could put up Orin Guru but I would have to have an energy I do have Tate and Liza I have Guzma for switch um, I don't remember it looks like my opponent's gonna be out next turn or invincible rather Sudden Flash, I don't think is going to work. We could strike and run for some... I'll just put Dunsparce up, I guess. I don't know. I have Guzma. There's Lady. So let's put this here. Lady, I think, would be the best thing for us to do. No. Hmm. Maybe Tate and Liza, I think. Or we could just copycat. Uh... But I'm afraid I'm not going to get anything to switch with. Let's go ahead and copycat. I really could use Lady right now. Well, I could Lady and just get the energies that I need. But Strike and Running is not going to do much for us. I could... Well, I still need the energy. I was going to say I could Guzma up that Charmeleon. But that's not going to help us. Let's copycat. I hate to do it. But hopefully we can get back something in our hand. There's a switch. So that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and... No, that's not going to be even worth it. I needed it to be Guzma. Shoot. I could Furfru. I'm 
not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a draw off of this. For a fruit. So I think I think that was an okay turn. We have our Sceptile ready to go. Um, this Rapidash is going to be the only thing that's going to give us uh, some issues. I really wish I could have Guzmed last turn, um, but we, it just wasn't in the cards. But you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> it wasn't. We weren't able to do it. Um, but getting the fur fur up, uh, being being able to get a couple draws off of it is fine. Um, I don't think fur fur is going to be going down anytime soon. Uh, and we'll just hope that our opponent misses the agility this turn, and uh, and we'll be able to do something off of that. But uh, Grovile is going to be very very frail in this matchup. Um, I imagine he's only going to be able to take out like one Pokemon. Um, and uh and it's that's gonna be problematic so we did get our lantern which is really good we have our septile but no leaf energy to put on him which is okay i guess um i do believe i want to put in oranguru to kill this rapidash because i just don't want it to be here um so let's go ahead and do that and unfortunately, we're not going to get to instruct off of this. Um, but that's okay. We can do Psychic. And kill this thing. And we'll just go ahead and take it out like that. Not too bad. There's our other, our other Lantern. Uh, but we don't have any room on the board currently uh, for uh, Chin Chow. Uh, so it might be a minute before we get there. Uh, we should be able to kill this Farfetch'd uh, right off the bat. If I can get a Guzma, that would be really, really nice uh, to be able to Guzma up that Charmeleon that's ready to go. Uh, but I think we're in a we're in a good enough position where we can um, we can deal with it. We have our Dunsparce on board for a sudden flash. We have our Sceptile uh, not too powered up. That would be 80 damage on that thing. Uh, but it looks like Oranguru is going to be going down this turn. Um, and I don't think I mind that too too much uh, because I can sudden flash like I said uh, And we'll see what we get off of this one And we are gonna retain a bit of energy on our lantern, which is fine, but I do need one more energy on my lantern uh, So let's promote our Dunsparce That's fine There's the leaf energy for a septile, but it does not. It's not. It's not good enough yet. So I think I want to put another. Well, I need to put something on Dunsparce. Is really what I need to do. So I could uh, put Snover on the board, but I don't think that that would be very good. I think I'm gonna leave this this position open for a for a moment. Well, let's put the leaf energy up there. That's fine. So let's leave this open for a minute. Let's sudden flash and hope we can get a heads. Oh, bummer. All right, so it looks like Dunsparce is going to be going down, but um, that's okay with me because Charizard is going to be continuing to deal damage to himself. Dunsparce is going to get one more energy on Lantern, and then Lantern's going to be ready to go to kill this Charizard. Um, so we should be in a pretty good spot here coming up. Uh, and then my opponent doesn't really have that much to answer back with. But at the same time, I don't really have that much to answer back with either. I do have a fully... Um, well, I have a Sceptile on board that has no energy on it. But um, but I don't have any other energy on board to uh, to power that up. To power up that fire, uh, powerful storm. Um, so we're just going to have to deal for a minute uh, with this sort of board position. Uh, and I don't mind. If my opponent takes out Dunsparce... Um, which it looks like he's going to. So all we need is 100 damage on there. Uh, which we can get with Lantern. That's 20, 40, 60 off of Sceptile. Uh, that's not great. Um, because I, I, I just... I really want to get rid of this Charizard. So let's see if my opponent takes it. Takes the bait. It's not really bait. It kind of is. Because I do want that energy to go onto my lantern and have it be ready to go. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to take it. So his um, Charizard will be going down. Um, that's fine. We're going to promote lantern. We have one more energy in hand to do uh, to deal with that. 
Uh, so this is going to be pretty good for us. Uh, and then we can just discharge this energy. Let's put another Trico on. I really want to get this other... I think that Snover is going to be too slow. Uh, but getting that other Grovile on is not going to be too bad. So I do need to discharge this time. So let's go ahead and do that. And just get rid of... <coughs> excuse me. Just get rid of this Charizard. Uh, well, we can. Uh, let's see what we get off our prize. Something good. A leaf energy. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I wish I had more lightning energy. But I can escape with this... Uh, with this energy here. Um, but I do need a way to get something onto Furfru if I'm going to put him in. Really looking for that other Manectric. I really could use that other Manectric. Uh, we have a lot of energy in the discard pile, so we're going to be looking for stuff to get those things back. Rescue Stretcher would be nice right now. What else would be nice? Um, a lot of things. There would be a lot of things that would be nice right now. Chin Chow is nice. I did want to put Jin Chao on. Let's put Grovile in. Uh, or on, whatever. Um, I kind of want to use this Leaf Energy on something else. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I know. 2040. This thing's going to do more damage uh, regardless. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to get our other Lantern on board, which will be nice. Um, but we're really starved for energy right now. I wish I could get my Lady back. Um, I wish I could get my other Manectric. There's a lot of things that we're looking for right now. We've been sort of drawing into some uh, to some pretty bad hands here. Uh, so my opponent's going to Kukui. And he's going to continue to draw cards. And we are not. There's Lady, finally. So let's put this here. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to see what we have here. Let's grab one of these, two of these, and two of these. And then let's take a quick look through the deck. We have one Obama Snow, one more Manectric. We have these guys. So that's kind of all we have left. Uh, hold on. Uh, and all of our supporters, of course. Alright, so we're going to take Lady like this. We are going to put an energy here and retreat this. For this. And we're going to go ahead and Leaf Blade. Hope for a heads. <laughs> Jesus. What more? What more could go right with this game? What more could go right? My opponent has a thousand cards in his hand, but he does not have much on his on his bench. But Pokemon Fan Club is going to change that very quickly, I think. That's probably what he's been waiting for. Um, but losing this Grovile is not going to be too big of a deal. I still have two Lanterns ready to go uh, and enough energy in my hand, but really, really, really need that Manectric. Um, we're really sort of starving without it. Okay, looks like my opponent's going to collect again. If we can get a heads off of this um, Leaf Blade, that would be nice. There's our Obama Snow. Jeez. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're going to start throwing energies onto our Lanterns. I guess I've been wasting too much time. So let's throw an energy on Lantern. Let's go ahead and Leaf Blade and try and get rid of this thing. Come on. I think I'm going to hit every Tails in existence. That's all right. This is the nature of the game. This is what we signed up for. Uh, but even if I lose my Grovile here coming up, I'll be able to throw energies onto Lantern. But it doesn't look like Grovile is going to be going down anytime soon. My opponent is just going to continue drawing um, through his entire deck uh, while we just sit here. All right, let's go ahead and Kukui because I need to... Uh, Rescue Stretcher is good because I can get back... A, I can get that Manectric back. Let's just Rescue Stretcher everything. I'm going to Rescue Stretcher for Manectric. 
So this should help us sort of um, bust this game open a little bit here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to retreat this out. We're going to put this in. We got a couple of energies. Let's go ahead and double charge. Kill that. Um, let's get these two. Put them on here. Take another prize. And I think we're in a pretty better spot. Um, Charizard could be problematic, but we have another Lantern to face off against it. Um... But we are going to lose this Manectric. But I really needed that... <clears throat> excuse me. I really needed that uh, that Manectric to come out and uh, and sort of wreck face with his, uh, with his double charge. Uh, and getting rid of that... Um, what did I even just get rid of? I don't even know. The Farfetch'd was okay. Um, we can hope for a Kukui here, but I don't know if we're going to hit it. Um, that would be the sort of the only way that we can kill this Charizard because my opponent um, has figured out everything. So that's 24, 60, 80, 100. So Sceptile's not going to be any help here. I wish I could keep Manectric in to do some more double charges, but that's not going to happen. Um, so let's take this and put it here yeah that's fine and that does open up another spot for our snover i really i really need to keep up my tempo here i was gonna say i could put in per fur fruit but I, I really need to keep up with my opponent at this point um so let's put this here Let's lightning strike this thing. It's going to die either way. I was sort of hoping for a Kukui there. I could sacrifice something, but that's not really going to be helpful for us because it's going to cause us to get rid of a couple of energies, which we've already gotten rid of a lot of energy. So if I'm going to discard the energies anyways, let's just go ahead and do it. Um, get the 140. We're not going to be able to get the Kukui or the extra damage on that, but um, I don't think we're going to be able to win this one because we have way too much energy in the uh, in the discard pile. Um, and we're sort of behind here. Two heads off the timer ball. My goodness. Um, so I think we're... Uh, man, we're just one step one step behind our opponent um and our opponent has been sort of ahead the whole time because of the his hand size really um his hand size has been the thing that's uh that's been really keeping him going so i think i'm gonna throw up for fur this time just so i can get um some good draws off of him um but that might no that's not even a good idea i i think this is it i think we've lost this one we're gonna lose lantern here well actually we're not because charizard cannot uh oh we are going to to this uh nidal queen um, so that's okay. We don't have any way of getting rid of Nidal Queen without a Kukui. Uh, 204060. Yeah, this Nidal Queen is going to be just too tough for us. We just weren't able to get the energies that we needed. <coughs> excuse me, on the board uh, enough to get Sceptile fired up. Um, <coughs> this was sort of a weird game. Both of us, both me and my opponent, uh, or my opponent and I, hit uh, a huge lull. Uh, in sort of the middle of the game and um, and he just had way more cards to me in his hand uh, throughout the entire game and uh, and that's sort of what he was uh, what he was uh, running with all right so I, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything with this uh, 20 40 60 80 now uh, so hats off to my opponent that's gonna be another loss for leaf charge so um, I don't know if uh, if leech if leaf charge is still strong it is still strong um, I don't think I can blame it all on the draw here. I really don't. Um, maybe I can. I don't know. Uh, we did get a level up, a brand new coin, another pack to open. Um, yeah, kind of a disappointing game, but I'm, excuse me, I'm okay with it. We're going to take this one because I don't play steel. I would like to get a pack, but I don't really play steel Pokemon. So let's do this one because we are going to be playing Leaf Charge uh, a lot more in the future. Um, so yeah, another disappointing game. 
but that's the the nature of the beast we're just going to put them all up there the wins the losses uh the beautifuls the uglies uh, and we do have a few more coins so i think i i will do a pack opening coming up here very soon i think we're gonna have about 15 packs to open but i'll get into that later i hope you guys had a fun time watching i had a fun time playing and i'll see you guys in the next one